So let's work with transformations in elementary. For that, I'm going to go on to my starter pack and I'm going to bring in this chessboard right here. So over here you can uh, see that I can rotate around, I can move out up and down the the 3D model, I can rotate it and so forth. But to do it in After Effects, after you bring it into uh, the composition is a bit different. So let's press OK and over here you can see that there's a chessboard. So right now the chessboard is in group 1. So it is in group 1 right here as you can see. I set it up over here. This group 1, press OK. And now what I can do is I can go to group 1 and you can see that there are particle replicator, particle look, octanal and other options right here. So for transformation I can go on to particle look and particle replicator. And in the particle replicator, you can see that there's the position option. So I can move this to the left and right, as you can see. And you can also move this up and down. And you can see that the chessboard location changes. And you notice that there's the position point as well. So you can also drag this around, as you can see. And the position of my 3D model actually changes along with it, just like that, as you can see. So you can also go here, click this, and you can see that the uh, area of the particle replicator actually um, the area that is the position actually appears you can click it anywhere and the object actually moves around over there there's also position G which brings the object farther or closer as you can see so you can bring it closer and farther just like that but that actually changes the particle replicator as you can see so it goes to the middle but it is a bit off centered because uh, the G axis has been changed right there there's also the rotation function. So let me just bring this down right here. Uh, let me just bring this up as well. There's the rotation function as well. So you can rotate this out. So there's the X rotation just like that. There's the Y rotation and there's the Z rotation right there. You can see that you can rotate this any how you want. So you can rotate this out just like that and you can bring this up right here. So let me just rotate it out just like that. There are different options right here, uh, as you can see. So there's shape options and so forth, which you're going to see in future lessons on what you can do with it. And there's also the rotation right here, the particle replicator, the particle look, and so forth right there. And you can also go to actually multi-object. So you can enable the multi-object, and you can see that it actually brings up a huge range of uh, options right here so you can go for rotation here as well and if you were to change this out you can see that individual object rota rotates right there and not just the main object so you can go for the rotation you can see that individual object rotates on its own and not just the object right there you can also go for random rotation and things like that over here which actually comes up for a cool lot cooler effect so random rotation as you can see so every piece is working out its own way there's also displacement as you can see so you can make the object fly around you can see this so these are the basic scatter options and so forth uh, basic transformation options that you can work with. So that is how you can work with basic transformations inside of Element 3D. Hope you guys learned something as always and as always please like, comment, share and subscribe.